Guten Tag and welcome to Hansa House. Today we're honoring Germany's most famous folk celebration, Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest, so much fun. It's a beer festival celebrated all over the world. And here in Canada, we're home to the biggest Oktoberfest celebration outside of Munich. Today's guest list is 250 people long. What? Just madness. I've never served 250 people before. That's crazy. Today, you must season, stuff, and grill hundreds of gourmet sausages. This is the first time I'm ever going to be making sausages, so I'm pretty nervous. This is way outside my comfort zone. You'll be serving your sausages with a beautiful customized topping and a stunning complimentary side. Each team will have their own pantry stocked with everything you'll need. Spices, herbs, and a beautiful selection of fresh vegetables. Sean, you had the best dish in the last elimination challenge. So you'll be the captain of the red team. Come and get your apron. I've won every team challenge so far. I'm feeling like one of the top dogs in the competition. Mary, you made the second best dish, so you're a captain of the blue team. I've never been a team captain. It's like this weird power that I don't necessarily want. And Terry, you served up the third best dish, so you'll be captain of the green team. It is somewhat overwhelming to be team captain, so right now I'm beginning to sweat. Each team will get a different protein to work with, beef, pork, or lamb. And Sean, because you won the elimination challenge, you get first pick. I'm gonna go with pork. I think it's more traditional uh, and versatile uh, for a sausage challenge. Mary, you get second pick. I'm going to go with lamb. I feel like the flavors are really gonna be nice and fresh. So that leaves the beef for you, Terry, and the green team. I'm left to cook with beef. Beef can be dry. Beef doesn't have the fat content and flavor of pork. So right now I feel I'm screwed. It's now time to start choosing your team. And Sean, your second advantage is you get first pick. I've worked with this home cook before in the last team challenge. This home cook is a real workhorse. I'm gonna go with Jeremy. As far as this competition goes, I've kind of been struggling, so it feels good to be picked first. All right, Mary, who's your first pick? My first pick is an amazing, amazing home cook. I really like their, their flavors, so I'm gonna pick Veronica. I'm gonna be a great worker, B. I have speed, I have creativity, and I follow instructions very well. <laughs> Terry, who's your first pick? I'm gonna pick April Lee. <laughs> Terry and I are extremely different. Terry's really calm, <laughs> I'm really, <laughs> dare I say, hyper? Jacqueline. Thank you. I'm picking Matthew. I'm kind of used to being picked last. I have yet to stand out on my own in this competition. Jennifer, go join Terry then in the green team. Jennifer might not be the strongest home cook here, but she works really hard, and I'm sure she's going to work hard in the team. What we're looking for today is an elevated take on the traditional. Elevated flavors will elevate your sales, and that's a deciding factor today. The team that sells the most sausage dishes will win this challenge. The other two teams will face the dreaded pressure test. The time starts now! The teams have just two hours to prepare, cook, and serve their sausages with a custom topping and side dish. When all the sales are tallied, the two teams with the lowest sales will end up in a pressure test. Each team needs to draw inspiration from the pantry. Herbs and spices, and beautiful array of fresh vegetables, and Hellman's real mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise. Got mayonnaise. There's a lot there to inspire. For the side, I'm thinking some sort of, um, like, even like a potato chip. With beer, that's perfect. Right? So, I was thinking about poaching them in beer. Yeah, to everybody think yeah, that, right? Oh. Terry is so quiet and so indecisive. Did you want a spicy or a sweet approach? Um, if we do not have a strong leader, we're gonna be like the blind leading the blind. Jacqueline, I want you to start prepping the Asian-inspired slop. And Jeremy, I want you to work on the spice mix for the sausage. Okay. We're going to make a Japanese-inspired sausage. Why don't we do a ginger spicy mayonnaise? We want to set ourselves apart. We want to stand out. One, One two, two, three, three. red! Mary and Sean seem to be very clear and direct with what they wanted to do. Beer? Um. And Terry seems to be a little bit unsure. What's our topping gonna be? Um, Peppers, onions, what? Um. 
This is not the sort of leadership is going to lead into anything good. I'm thinking I'm going with a spicy sausage, guys. Okay, you think I that's like, a... I, you know, so chili figs? We're making a spicy beef sausage with a side of corn salad and a Hellman's mayo dijonese. Go green. All right, come on green. <laughs> come on green. <laughs> with all the menus finally decided, the red, green, and good? blue teams start their prep. It already smells good. I it can smell the spices really I'm really happy. Meat. This meat is really cold. It's freezing my hands, but I don't care. I'm from Winnipeg, so I'm used to frostbite. It's all good. Terry, can I measure out the salt for our spice blend? It's someone here already. We need a tablespoon of salt per pound. We have to season all of our meat. We have to nail this. We need to make sure that we have enough salt. The spice season as we go. If we feel we need more, we keep adding more. Okay, but I, but Terry? April, let's do it my way. Terry doesn't realize that I come from a background of sausage makers. While Terry and April Lee squabble over the spice blend, the red and blue teams have already spiced their meat. Let's make some sausages. And begun making their sausage links. This is really fun, actually. 20 minutes gone, guys, and we're doing great. So you just need to make sure it comes out consistently and evenly. You are motoring through that, Mary. How's it going, guys? We're getting things moving here. But on the green team, things are at a standstill. Smell it. It doesn't smell very spicy or flavorful yet to me. How about you? Yeah. You see, it smells just kind of like beef still. Terry's not understanding that this beef is a little blander. It doesn't have as much fat. We really need to get it seasoned well. Have you ever made sausages before? Well, my parents own a sausage place. So I made sausage with my family, Terry, for 15 years. Aprily! Oh my goodness. Must have made a million sausages in your lifetime. Yes, I, <laughs> I can't believe I have April on my team. I am so excited right now. We need about six and a half cups of salt. OK, thank you. There you go. There you go. I trust you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Dr. Sean. Chef Alvin. So tell me, what are you doing? Chef, we are going to do a Japanese-inspired sausage. We're going to call it the umami dog. Here, want to try this? I like it. It's well seasoned. You know, I mean, good, it's, a, good. It's, a, it's a sensation of savory, like soy sauce, yep. miso. I can definitely taste a lot of umami. I tell you, it sounds like you're on top of it. Thank you, okay. Chef. Thank you, Thank Chef. How you doing? Great. So what are you making with the slam? We're doing a kind of a smoky onion jam with it. On the side, we're going to do a salt potato chip with herby Hellman's dip. Wow. Veronica, are you worried about time? Because you don't have much time right now. Uh, I'm not worried about time, actually. I used to volunteer at a soup kitchen, and I have really good time management, and I think I can do it. Great job. April A, what are you doing? Hey, Chef Alvin, I'm just making up our sweet Dijonese to go with our sausage OK, today. tell me what's in it. Uh, we've got Hellman's mayo, some Dijon, and then we're sweetening it up with honey. For me, it needs to be a little bit thicker and richer. Let's add some more mayo. It should go perfect with your spicy sausage. Great. Thanks, Chef. As the teams continue their prep, a hungry Oktoberfest crowd gathers in anticipation. 20 minutes. You have 20 minutes left. Oh, I think my link's a little bit tight here. What? Oh, no. Just split. So we lost one. Sorry, guys. I am a little bit worried about the red team because they are overstuffing the sausage. No. They're going to have a lot of problems separating it into legs. It keeps splitting, guys. I'm starting to feel myself kick into panic mode. We're pretty behind, so we really got to get going. OK. Jacqueline's not at her best right now. I ripped another one. I'm just going to cry. I'm just freaking out. We need to get motoring. We can't go to the pressure test, so we have to start pumping out sausages like nobody's business. The team that sells the most sausage plates will avoid the dreaded pressure test. Let's do this, man. Come on. Looks good. We're good. This is a tricky challenge because you only have three members on each team, which means each member needs to do a lot of heavy lifting. We need a lot more potatoes, guys. Oops. Why is Matthew spending so much time on the onions? Ah, oops. Why is Matthew still at the onions? We need more than that, though, man, you know? Yep, yep, I yep. know. Speed is not really his forte. Good job, Aprilie. <laughs> Thank you. Aprilie comes from a family that makes and smokes sausages, so that's a huge advantage. I'm the sausage queen! <laughs> you have five minutes left. A lot of people are lining up. I just added another 13 links in there. Good. Coming through with sausages. 
Terry? Yes? How's our sausages? I'm going to check them now. I smell burning. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Guys, we got fire here. Take them out, take them out, take them out. All of my hard work on these sausages is going up in flames. Okay. What's happening, Terry? We got some fire. As to get those sausages off, put a bit of water on the bottom of the pan. You should be good. Good luck. Thank you, chef. I'm worried that we might not have enough sausages. You have one minute till service! Let's get ready for service, guys. It's gonna come real quick. I just need to season up this salad. Where's the soy sauce? The Master Chef Canada Oktoberfest sausage stalls are now open for business! Let's go! Time's up, guys. Time's up. Here they come. Oh, my gosh. Crowd of people, check the chips. I'm coming. And enjoy. Have a good day. My first choice to try here would be the red team. I love the fact they have pork sausage, they're doing an Asian slaw, they're doing a Hellman's real mayonnaise infused with all these beautiful Asian ingredients. Me, I would go for the blue team because I do love lamb. And you know the sides, fresh made potato chips with a mayonnaise dip. The green team has gone a little bit more on the traditional side. It's a beef sausage, they've got a Dijon mustard dressing, and a simple corn salad. May not be the most innovative, but if it tastes good, it could be the biggest seller. Hey! Holy smoke! We're ready for service, and we have all these plates ready to go, and the line is going super fast. Uh, just take your money, just go ahead and grab one on the table. Thank you. This challenge is a numbers game. You have to sell the most sausages. Hey, thank you very you much. Guys. Thank Enjoy. You. Having fun today? Jennifer is doing such a great job. We're getting these sausages out like turbo. That's for you, hon. Enjoy. Ten minutes into service, the red team is struggling to keep up. At this point, we don't really have any full plates made. Here you go. Just grab a fork, please, for your slaw. It's really tough to plate 100 plus sausages in front of the customers while they're waiting for it. We're falling behind here, and I don't want people to wait. Everybody having a good Oktoberfest? Absolutely. Okay. So, which sausage did you have? I'm a green man all the way. The mayo combo was, it was great. The red was beautifully yeah, seasoned, well-plated, well thought out. Love the chips on the poutine <laughs> sausage. <laughs> that lamb sausage was phenomenal. Way, way better than the green one. The green one is really good. The sausage, the taste was really good. Which sausage stood out for you? Blue, blue, blue. Blue. What about the umami pork sausage on the red team? <laughs> well, I thought the slaw was awesome. The red team, their sausage was on the dry side. Who is your favorite? I really like the green. The green? The green? Yeah, favorite? The spicy yeah. beef. I tried team blue. It was quite moist and, and quite delicious. Thank you. We're done. Done? Was that ever fun? All 101 red and blue plates have been served. We did it. We finished in time. Good job. <laughs> Good job, guys. Welcome, volunteers. Today, you'll be sampling the red team's stuffed chicken breast with white and sweet potato mash and garlic Swiss chard. And the blue team's Moroccan spiced chicken with Egyptian red rice and spiced roasted cauliflower. Bon appetit. Hi there, guys. So I see you've all had a chance to try some of the chicken from both the blue team and also the red team. Any preferences? The blue plate, I like the spiciness of the cauliflower. The cauliflower had the spice, so I was expecting that in the chicken, but it wasn't there. Flavor-wise, I like the red plate. It's got a little bit more depth in the flavor in the chicken with the mushroom uh, stuffing in there. I like the blue plate a bit more. It has a lot more flavor. The cauliflower was good. Blue wins. Red has my vote. Blue team. Blue team. How come? The red team was a little bland. What do you think of the two plates? Which one do you like more? I prefer the red one because it's more cooked. Yeah, it's more cooked. And this one is a little bit undercooked. Yeah, that is undercooked. Yeah. I'm going to show it to the blue team captain. Do you want to show this one? Oh, <laughs> I'm totally sorry, this is completely unacceptable. I'm gonna fix this. Hey, 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 Michael, 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 come here. Look at this. I warn you, two unfinished dishes. They're raw chicken. It's clear as day. There's, there's blood in the bone, it's not cooked well. They were enjoying it, but they can't finish it. My stomach is in knots. You can't serve. 
undercooked chicken. This is unacceptable. Can we bring these people more chicken? What do you think? Yes. Yes. What do you think? Would love Let's to bring clean more the plates. Chicken. I don't want us to be in the pressure test. It was two plates, and it's horrible and it's unacceptable. But I feel confident that the rest of it is going to be cooked perfectly. All right. All right. Did we in the blue kitchen apologize immensely and hope that this one is more to your liking. Much better, right? Yeah. Much better. Good job, good job, good job. I'm feeling like a winner. This is a finale-worthy dish. I prepared a romesco sauce, crostini with the chicken breast, crispy chicken skin, and crispy purple potatoes, and uh, chicken drumette glazed with pomegranate molasses and honey. Looks beautiful. Doesn't mean anything if it doesn't taste good, chef. Absolutely. Delicious. Thank you. Wonderful texture. The peppers, the almonds, olive oil, and it has great depth of flavor. A great utilization of this wonderful chicken. Thank you, chef. It's amazing to see how far you've come in such a short time. I don't know how it tastes, but the way it looks, it's world class. I noticed you burnt the first batch did, of yeah. chicken skin, but you saved enough to get through. Very smart. It's delicious. Where's all the sauce? There's almost none here. There's a small amount. I guess I could have put some more on there for you, chef. I'm glad you didn't. The sauce is not balanced. It's very acidic and harsh. This looks great, but it's not a winner. Those who make the best chicken dishes will earn a spot in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. The rest will be sent home. This is the most important challenge of your life. You have 60 minutes, starting now! I run in the pantry and it's mayhem. I just start throwing elbows and I grab everything that I need. And all of a sudden it was like a mad dash through the pantry trying to figure out, geez, what I was gonna do. Five minutes in and you can see the place has gone absolutely crazy. The biggest mistake is when they go to the pantry, it's like going into a candy store. It's not good form to be indecisive. This challenge is pretty intimidating. Like I got nothing to work with. The hell? It's a stress test and I'm stressed. Having 26 home cooks butchering chickens at the same time is nerve-wracking. I mean, chicken parts are flying everywhere. The biggest mistake they can make is trying to cook a whole breast or a whole leg on the bone. It's going to take too long, 100%. I'm making a pan-roasted uh, chicken with a lemon and wine sauce. My biggest fear today is that my chicken will be completely and utterly undercooked. I'm doing a Southwestern-inspired spiced uh, seared chicken breast and, uh, with a little crispy chicken skin that I will attempt. I'm making pan-seared involtini. I'm also serving it with some mixed greens. I am making a chicken madras with a cucumber raita and roti. I'm a little bit worried about time. You have 45 minutes left. 45? Oh. Uh, I'm falling behind. Bubba, tell me what you're making. I am making a barbecue chicken Southwestern sandwich. Making the sandwich for the judges, it was the first thing that popped into my mind. When the first thing pops in, you go with it. Are you worried that it might be a little simple? I'm not too concerned. Well, I hope you're right. Having the judges come up to us while we're cooking is really nerve-wracking. What's in here? What's in here? I'm making a chicken involtini. You want to tie that up? No, I'm not. I have no string. Maybe you can use some chives or something like that. I'm that absolutely works. absolutely thinking of using the bacon. Wrap the bacon around it. You gotta watch out. Put that in the pan. It may just fall flat. Alvin Lung scares me to death. Today I am making a uh, Jewish style chopped liver on top of bread served with a red wine syrup. All the judges are gonna really love the flavors that I'm putting in it. Well, I hope you're right. Because otherwise, you'll be a chopped liver. You have 30 minutes to go! Come on! Feeling the pressure for sure. What's happening here, Eric? This is all you? This whole mess is you? Ah, uh, yes, chef. Yeah. Wow. I'm not used to working in such a small space. It's pretty disastrous, my station. I'm uh, kneading my dough for my ravioli right now. I'm making a chicken ravioli with uh, herb cream sauce. Yeah. OK. I make wow. homemade ravioli. Yeah. Smart. Yeah. It's going to take a lot of time, though. I, I know. Yeah. Julie, how are you dealing with the time pressure? 
I out cook at home. Within half an hour, I have dinner ready. So this should be easy then? Yeah. Oh, shit. I am in complete crisis. Julie is making an involtini too, and I'm worried that I'm going to be compared to her. Involtini is an Italian dish, and I'm Italian. So I'm really not worried. Yeah, I'm totally unrolling. It looks like you uh, have maybe too much stuffing in that piece of chicken. When it hit the hot pan, it shrunk and exploded. If you turn it very, very gently, you might just save it. I am terrified right now. I hit a massive crisis. I'm giving up a lot to be on MasterChef Canada. I'm not here to get sent home. Go, 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 go! Yeah, I'm feeling the pressure. The pressure's on. OK, Alvin, who do you think is looking good? You know, surprisingly, Kayla. Because I'm not seeing a lot of spices. And her dish, I'm seeing spice. It's interesting. I really want to dig into that. Danny is looking great. He's doing a chicken Valencia. It looked very rich and encouraging. I'm concerned about Danielle with her involtini. When she put the chicken into the hot pan, it shrunk and burst on it. I told her about this. You have to tie it up. She says she was going to wrap it in bacon or something like that. You know what Julie did? She did the same dish, but then she skewered it with the rosemary. Yeah. Julie is super cool. Danielle is getting crushed under the pressure. There are a number of dishes that I see that aren't making it to the MasterChef standard. Bubba, a sandwich is just not good enough. Dale, he's doing chopped liver. That's it, just chopped liver. Just chopped liver just as a MasterChef dish. Nope. Eric, I'm really concerned. He's a bit messy right now. Still, one hour and he pulled off pasta. That's impressive. impressive. You know, he hasn't pulled it off yet. <laughs> this test can be won or lost in the final minutes, is my opinion. I agree with you 100%. I fixed my involtini by weighting it down. It's not what I would serve at home, but I did what I could under the conditions. One minute, this is your final minute. You better be plating. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Plain and simple. It's done. Yeah. Now, the judges will have one final look and taste before deciding who will move forward and who will go home. The chicken is on the plate. It is looking excellent. But is it cooked? My curry smells amazing. The chicken is cooked perfectly. And then the judges taste it. I am sweating my coyotes off. Extremely intimidating when they're just staring over you. I think I'm going home at this point. Blood sausage. Oh! And if you have the heat too high, that blood sausage, under all that heat and pressure, can simply explode. blood sausage exploded. This could cost me the competition. It looks like ground beef. I'm toast. Toast. I'm really rattled that my blood sausage exploded. Since I, I'm toast on the blood sausage, I can't be toast on the, the other components. Don't sweat it, dude. Just think of the next right thing, OK? Let's get everything Just else right. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Get everything else right. That's yep. it. I am not ready to go home. You had that pan way too high in temperature, and that sausage just burst. The blood pudding is lacking just a little bit of color on the outside. Let's see how it uh, tastes. You're lucky. I thought, given the outside of that sausage, I would have thought it would have been a slightly bit underdone. But that heat must have just percolated through just for you. Your blood sausage looks a little slimmer. Did you squeeze any of the filling out? Just. It just came out came on out. its own. Certainly not perfect. Two eggs, sunny side up. Let's see if that egg yolk is just the way I like them. Just a little on the overside. Thank you. 